Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, I'll just be taking you through the masking on this Subaru Tribeca. So, I've started off, I've done all the prep work already, and this video is just going to be covering the masking on it. A couple of my su subscribers asked to get a bit more in-depth uh, video on masking, so I've sped it up just to twice the speed as normal speed. So it ended up being a 7 minute video in the end and it w I had 15 minutes of footage so I just sped it up to uh, twice the speed. I've just um, left this video uh, pretty much unedited, it's um, pretty much as, as I did it. So there's one or two little spots that I cut out. But, so here we're using the, what we call the trim tape, and it's got a, a hard plastic edge on it, and it allows you to get it up under those trims and then peel it back a bit so that you're not going to get a big paint edge over over those um, win window moulds. So after we do that, we'll then wipe over the inside of the door jam, and we'll do what we call back masking inside here. You put that in, and you close the door, peel it back off the edge just a touch, and then you'll be able to put your plastic over the top of that. So next up, we'll do our tailgate, or the rear door opening area. Same thing, just back masking it, and then peeling it back. Once you shut that tailgate. been a while since I've uploaded a video, um, only reason is because I've been so video, uh, so busy, I've been working on my own car, turning that into a bit of a race car, doing some custom paint work on it, so it'll be pretty cool, when, when I finish that I'll start uploading some videos on that, I've got loads of footage, Doing it's a three tone car, so it's blue, then it's got yellow, and also red on it, so if you're on my Facebook page you've probably already seen photos of it. There's a link down in the comments box there if you want to check out my Facebook page. Um, yeah, you're welcome to uh, ask any questions. I'll do my best to answer any. So inside there I just used uh, what we call a false edge so we end up flipping the edge over of the three quarter inch tape or the skinny tape and then we put that edge down so that we don't actually have a, a hard edge right along that masking line and then just make sure we've pushed it in properly. Probably just end up doing a false edge around this uh, tail light as well, even though it's it's not seen under there. Sometimes if you go with a hard edge, um, the paint can bridge up over it and sometimes you get someone else come in unmasking your car and if there's a hard edge there and they pull the tape up in the wrong direction then it can actually start flaking up so to the fresh paint so next up you can see I've just thrown a couple of pieces of paper over this bumper bar because it's a two-tone bumper bar half of the bumper bar is uh, meant to stay black so I'll then use this um, uh, vinyl tape it's a 3M one I've found is the best one it sticks a lot better than some of the other ones um, we'll then run that just over the very edge if you use normal tape the paper based masking tape then um, sometimes you get a bit of a furry edge so the the vinyl tape is really quite good uh, some people and I used to as well sometimes you can um, finish painting and straight away unmask the vinyl tape and sometimes you can get uh, a better edge there but it's not necessary you can still bake the car out and then unmask it with good results so. Once I get this uh, vinyl tape on, next up it's time to put some plastic over the whole car. Now this is just about the only part that, I, as I said, I ended up um, editing a, a touch out here. It was just got caught up on here, so you didn't need to see that. So here we go, straight down with the plastic over there, cut, and then we just start cutting it straight out and taping it down. 
So this is a Subaru Tribeca, as I said. I can't remember the paint code on it from now. This is a couple of weeks ago. I took the footage for this one, so it's been too busy to get it edited up for you. So just going around taping all that plastic down. I've found it's uh, the best way to mask up myself. Um, back in the day, we always used to use uh, paper and then uh, put plastic around the edge of the paper. But I've found this is a bit quicker and actually you get cleaner jobs if you do it this way I've found as well. Because the, the plastic is, um, the plastic these days is static. Uh, it actually attracts anything to it so that'll take the static away from the, the panel itself so the dust won't attract to it. So it'll attract to the plastic instead. Just going around and taping it all down and that's pretty much it so it's pretty basic masking it's one of most painters favorite things is masking like once you've got the, the hang of it um, yeah, it's quite easy it's relaxing you just sit down listen to the tunes it's pretty good and um, just don't get lost that's uh, sometimes you used to, I used to look at like a big job when I was starting out and I, I, you just like it'll boggle your mind and the best way is to just start like just start masking up and it'll sort of fall into place after you just start putting some bits of tape on so it's only a small job as I said but I just thought I'd leave it relatively unedited this is um in the well what sunlight we had on that day and this is the car after it's been polished up we polished that rear door up so bring up the gloss level again so it looks quite good so thanks again for watching this has been another gunman production goodbye